So our country, Malaysia, has four out of seven sea turtle species. So four species of sea turtles that originate from Malaysia and also lay eggs in Malaysia. Firstly is leatherback turtle. So leatherback turtle in Malay is known as penyu belimbing. The shape of the carapace is like a star fruit. It is actually the largest turtle species in Malaysia. So it can grow up to two meters long. Does not have a, a shell-like carapace. It's like skin or leather-like. Their main diet need to consist of very, very high water. Because of that, their main diet is jellyfish. Because as we know, jellyfish is very very high in water content they are natural predators of jellyfish so if our leatherback turtle goes extinct or is endangered the jellyfish population will rise and this will cause an imbalance in the ecosystem so the next turtle species is green turtle or in Malay is known as penyu agar because they have green colored fat not because they are green colored in real life it's more like yellowish personally I think green turtle is the prettiest out of the four turtle species in Malaysia and it is the second largest species growing up to more than one meters long so green turtles their main diet can consists of seagrass and seaweed so again they are very important to keep the balance because over increase in seaweed population can also cause imbalance in the ecosystem also the fish population or any other aquatic organisms so the third species is hawksbill turtle or in Malay it's known as penyukara just like the name hawksbill it has a big shaped mouth just like a bird or a hawk their specialty is they feed on corals and sponges some corals are actually harmful to other aquatic animals such as fish so hawksbill turtle they will feed on this toxic coral and this will help to firstly check and balance on the coral population in the sea and secondly this can help the fish population in turn help provide habitat for fish to live the last species is olive ridley turtle also known as penyulipas so olive ridley is the smallest turtle in malaysia the reason why they are called penyulipas is because when they swim they move like a cockroach. They also feed on crustaceans such as crab and shrimp. So some fun facts about turtles of Malaysia or just any other sea turtles. They have like a built-in GPS. Wherever the turtle is hatched or wherever the turtle lay egg, regardless of how far they swim from their original beach, they will actually come back to their origin for them to lay egg. So say if pollution happens and that beach is already polluted and flooded with water. So this sea turtle, they will just naturally still come back to that beach. Even if it's flooded and they have no sand to lay their egg, they will just instinctively lay their eggs in the water and what this will cause is it will cause all the eggs to be rotten so aside from that you know how sea turtles they lay their eggs in sand and bury them the temperature of the sand is actually what determines the gender of the sea turtles that hatch so a hotter temperature will cause more female turtles to hatch and a colder temperature will cause more male turtles to hatch because of global warming we have been getting more female turtles compared to male this is also another cause why sea turtles are declining in population aside from pollution the imbalance in gender they also have natural predators right after the sea turtles start hatching some birds that live by the ocean will already start going and eating them it is estimated that only one out of ten thousand sea turtles actually survive and make it back to repopulate and relay their eggs so because of this it's very important that we conserve the sea turtles how by supporting the movement to not consume or purchase any sea turtle eggs and if we support this turtle egg business we are contributing to lowering that number even more aside from the egg business turtles like hawksbill turtle is known for their really really pretty carapace even when they are die their carapace is still considered a very valuable item some people just generally hunt for hawksbill turtle in order to sell the carapace and make an income aside from that some people believe that sitting on the leatherback turtles might give you good luck so actually when you sit on them the only thing that you're giving them is pain because leatherback turtles don't actually have a strong carapace even though it's big the pressure of you sitting on them will actually compress their organ this will cause injury the turtles might just die afterwards so please do not support myth that can actually harm the turtles.